Two Broke Rednecks present. If this is a porno, I'm leaving. At least this film warns you it has syphilis. Wow, they don't mince words. Are they talking about us? That this film sucks. I think the police department are entirely too lenient with these vicious exhibitions of sex. You're entirely right, Henry. Well, we hadn't had a sex expedition in this house for decades. I see that that philanthropist, Paul Lorenz, and his committee are doing a wonderful work. He'll soon clean up this filth. That's because he cornered the mop and bucket market. A better life. The joy out of life. Why don't they reform themselves and give us a chance to get a little innocent pun once in a while? By playing hot the sausage. I'm going over to Dean's house. They'll probably try to stop me from doing that pretty soon. Maybe we should tell him we plan to move while he's gone. Can't be that James is interested in this sort of entertainment. Oh, <laughs> impetuous youth, mother. He's like all the rest. No, he's I'm just like his father, father before I married your fruit ass. I hope so. It's no so supposed to. Then up to this, buddy. The principal objection made by the commissioner was when Sheila Wayne removed her last bit of clothing and walked off smiling to the audience. You must have plenty of it. I wish I could do that instead of slaving in this office. I'll office Slave play. Girls, the movie. You do have plenty of it. I think so? Say, I wonder if I couldn't be a strip team queen. What's she got that I haven't got? Tits. How do they do it? Zip. Or Zip. See, what do you say we go and see her tonight? It'll be great fun. All right, let's plan it tonight. Oh, great. Now kiss me, you fool. I think I'd rather watch the movie burlesque. We wear short shorts. Sweating to the oldies, there's nothing on this. Darling, tonight. But I must tell you, I'm really a guy. You think she's being a little too forward? Uh, when did synchronized party become a sport? Oh, 
Man, oh man, has she got it? Boy, oh boy, look at that baby. Isn't she something? They're presenting! He has sex madness now. That's right, fan the stench of failure away. I'm worried about Jamie. He's out later than usual. Oh, now, don't worry, Mother. He's just out having a little innocent fun. Well, I remember when I used to have fun. Then I met you. I gotta get out of these shorts before I get a yeast infection. under the belt and do I need relaxation oh I'm tired me for bed I got school tomorrow Did you say bed <laughs> that's not to relax and that's for action Doc, it was taking my clothes off when I come into the theater putting them on again taking them off for the customers putting them on again taking them off again when I'm ready to go home I think it's time I gave the old mouth a chance and had a drink well now that you're all through for tonight I, I guess you can enjoy yourself Hey, you said it. You know what? That's exactly what you're going to do. We've got a date with Tom Lorenz. You know, the Bat Guano King. Don't you know who he is? His father's the biggest reformer in town. Is that funny or is that funny? Oh, well, then now you go right ahead. After all, you know, who is company? But he's got friends with him. Big time, sister, we're going to step out. Well, not me, Sheila. I'm going home. You know what I have to do. Yeah, I gotta be at my job as a welder you early in the morning. In the morning, and you want to look well. Oh, I suppose you'd put it that way. Listen, Millicent, you're only wasting your time. I went to a quack for a long time, and what did he ever do for me? Oh, but I tell you, I, I've got to get well. You've got your old age to settle down and get well in. These boys will show us a swell time, and they want to meet you. Is the cameraman drunk? Yeah, I'm, besides, I'm, I'm very tired tonight. Well, sure. I'm tired every night until I get out, and then I want to go to town. Oh, well, and now listen. You go ahead and enjoy yourself. I tell you what to do. You take Alice Carter with you. You know, she's lots of fun. So I'd, I'd only spoil your party. Well, I guess that's that. Behold, Alice Carter in person. Behold, we don't day? care. Well, yes, Derry, but hope you don't let go. I'm in on that date. Sure, sometime when I got a grudge against myself, I'll take you along. Is that so? Hot stock footage action. <laughs> the West Early Show gets out three hours later. Odd time to need your shirt pressed. Take it easy now, boys. The best part of the evening is about to begin. Tom Moran. You sure can pick them. No matter how much Tom father reforms them, he always finds the new ones. <laughs> We're so drunk. <laughs> you sure can oh, pick them, Tom. Easy Come on that reform stuff now, boys. Here comes Sheila. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Tom. Waiting long? No, no. Uh, where, where's Sheila? She ran home to put on her evening gown. So what? She says for you to meet her outside of Mrs. Faye's house tonight. 
There's a big party on tonight. Well, will there be plenty of girls there? Oh, there'll be lots of girls. Okay, oh. baby, how'd you, would you like to come along? Yes, oh. why don't you come along? Oh, come, yeah. on, come, come on, come on, come on, Oh, I'm please. sorry, boys, but I have a previous appointment. Oh, please, oh, oh, no. Besides, you wouldn't want to steal town girl like me on a Saturday night. Hot grocery bagging action. So it's a Sid Davis film! Hello, Mrs. Sterling. I didn't think you'd be here so late. Well, I knew you would be tired. That's why I came up with a little coffee for you after the show. Oh, yes, I am very tired. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you, Mrs. Jonas. Not so Probably take care of myself, I suppose. I used to be in show business once upon a time, and I know that with a little kindness, you can accomplish a great deal. Oh. You know, Mrs. Jones, we girls are certainly not This film is so bad that even the city closed the window to keep it out. I'm happy when you girls try. I do all in my power to help you. But how are you feeling tonight, honey? Oh, not so well. I get that not so fresh feeling. Oh, my dear. Here I am gossiping and I forgot all about a special delivery that other team for you this evening. Oh. That's the second one today. That boyfriend of yours must be very lonesome for you. He keeps oh, taking matters into his own hands. Oh, I must go to see Elizabeth. Good night. Happy dreams. Good night, Mrs. Jonas. Yes, can I borrow three fifty? I give you no three fifty of Ness Monster. Well, Sheila, I'm awfully glad you came. I see you brought your boyfriend with you. Well, it's a house party, isn't it? Party you know, people in the house tonight. Oh, this place was cozy. I'm sure glad I came. Well, we're glad too. Now the feeling's usual. Say, girl, take the hats and coat. Well, that's good. No, go right ahead, boys. I want to talk to Sheila alone. Well, Sheila, what's us out? It's not that funny. No, oh, it's on the level. I mean it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you didn't bring his father, too. Oh, forget it, darling. You know I can handle things. Oh, yes? Well, hello, Sheila. One drink. Well, say, you don't think she minds our being here? Of course not, darling. We were just talking about clothes. And how I want to get out of mine. <laughs> if you think traveling salesmen are funny, you're gonna love my Tupperware collection. <laughs> it's the fact that none of us have any clue what we're doing. So, we all feel like we know each other all the time. <laughs> Miss Jane's finally getting some action. Hi, 
So you announce you're going across the room in this place? Now you'll excuse me while I go adjust my package. Tom, Mrs. Fay has the cutest little Pomeranian upstairs. Would you like to see it? I'm looking at Pomeranians. Well, Bessie. Why don't you take your boyfriend and show him the house? How about upstairs? Well, it's okay with me. Is this a party or a brothel? We hope it's right. That's a great idea. Come on, Joy. I'll show you the guest room. Glad they left. Last week I hope they stay a while. That, at its best under the circumstances. Syphilis is a relentless enemy. And He's a veteran of the syphilis wars. Fighting will conquer. Now, this boy at home, do you love him? Oh, yes. Then you must be fair to him. Oh, there isn't anything I wouldn't do to prove myself to him. We grew up together. He used to wipe boogers in my hair. The most dreadful thing happened. Miss Hamilton, your character doesn't indicate why you should be in this mess. What happened? Tell me about it in explicit detail. Well, I won a beauty contest at home, and I came to New York. I know you'll think me a little selfish, but I can't help feeling a little sorry that you won this contest. Oh, but darling, you know how I feel about it. Why, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited about what you think. Going to New York. If I make it there, I'll make it anywhere. Please, that you're happy. But, well, I'm afraid that if you go, it'll upset our plans. Oh, but darling, you wouldn't let that happen, would you? Oh, nothing could stop me from marrying you. You see, I, I love you. <laughs> and besides, I... I may come famous, and, well, then you could come on, and we could get married, and both of us live happily ever after. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe you can do that freaky oh, thing with your tongue for me. thought of a story, I suppose. After the contest was over, I, I thought of all the wonderful things a girl ever dreams about. Fame, and fortune, and luxury. Oh, but I found myself walking from office to office. I was broke. But pride would not let me return home. You see, I had written that I was successful. I could find parties, but, but no positions. And then, and then one day I, I met a theatrical manager. You know, not a theatrical manager. And then a little, after all, you haven't had much experience. Oh, but I'm willing to do anything. Well, I'm ambitious. Oh, why don't you give me a chance? I'm offering you a chance right now. Here we're arranging a lovely weekend out at Long Island. You'll have a swell time and uh, make some good connections. Well, must there always be a social side to this business? <laughs> well, there must be if you expect to get anywhere. Oh, you won't have to do anything wrong. Just be nice and entertaining. And naked. Oh, my. I want to see how you shape up. That's right. Now uh, walk a little towards the door, will you? Yeah, that's right. Now come back this way. Hmm. All right. Now raise him up a little. Oh, don't mind me. I, I just want to see if you're the right type. Come on. Oh, Not come your on, dress, your tits. Ah, uh, bring him up a little higher. Up, up. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. Hey, you're going to be okay, honey. You know, uh, I kind of like you myself. All right, all right, have it your own way. Only cut out the risky stuff, see? Now, here's the address that you go to. 
There was nothing else to do. I so I made a sandwich. A oh, there were lots of people there, and everything seemed very proper until... Failed Spanish class reunions. She dances divinely, doesn't she, senorita? Oh, lovely, senor. Oh, and how do you like my Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's much better than mine. See, I, I know such few words. Oh, but we must keep in the atmosphere. After all, this is a costume party, you know. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. The night. The music. And you, you to make the night divine. More hot stock footage action. Oh, how I long for all this. A career. To realize it. Love it. Oh, I've dreamed of it. Success. To have all this. Oh, you could have all of this and more of all you would make up your mind to. Oh, oh but I, I want to make a name myself. Look, bitch, I'm trying to make you famous now. You're going to put out or not? Work was never meant for such beautiful little hands as yours. Ah, oh, senorita, you could have all of this and more. You could have wealth, luxury, beautiful clothes, servants. Oh, but I couldn't. You oh, don't mean... why don't you let me put your name at the top of the show world? You could have all of this if only you'd let me. Oh, I'd be so grateful. Oh, it's nice to have someone interested in you. Oh, oh but you will help me. My power to help you at all times. To help you in your ambition to get this and more. Uh, here's the check. She's paid. Let us seal our friendship with wine. Sparkling, bright, gorgeous, chanting. It rids the mind of worry. Kills the soul. And hopefully lowers your inhibitions. I, I suppose you're right. I, I never tried it. Ooh, <laughs> 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 it fascinated me, and partly because I was so terribly desperate. That night there was a wild party. I drank some champagne and went to my head, and then it happened. I, I hate unsightly water down. stains. And how long did you stay with this man? <laughs> Several days, I'm not sure. Oh, it all seems sort of a terrible dream. And then, many left me. I was all alone. Finally, the horrible truth dawned upon me. I was afraid and clean. Unclean, unclean. I even planned suicide, but because I knew my plight would be known at home, I, I determined to go on. And you got the job. In the burlesque show. It was the only job offered. That's my whole story, doctor. I've omitted nothing. And that's great, but I'm not a doctor. Only mistake. Oh, yes. Would to God that I hadn't. There, there, my child. I'll do all I can. Your case, if arrested at once, can be cured. But you must do your part. Now, uh, about this boy. Of course, it's impossible for you to marry him at present. To the hospital with me, and I'll show you why. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but regulations require hospital clothes. Come with me. Now, this case is a young woman who neglected to take proper care of her affliction. Statistics prove that less than one half of syphilis cases seek treatment or are recognized within the first year of the disease. Here we see the insidious effect of syphilis upon one dainty fingers. 
Hands so it gives you a shitty place. manicure. Now pleading for humanity's help. For a plague it is that attacks every nerve center, every organ, and every muscle of the human body. Those in the autumn of their lives... So now all old people have it? ...over the folly of ignorance and neglect. Painful of ignorance until I paint my clothes. Now, I've shown you the worst side, Miss Hammond. But there's also a hope. I want you to let me treat you daily for a short time, say one month, here in the hospital. And then when I'm convinced you're progressing, you may leave and go home. But is it laying around how she got it in the first place? Not yet. But if you continue to take the treatment faithfully from a competent physician at home, in time you'll be cured. Oh, but doctor, then everyone would know. Then go to a nearby city. There are very many fine doctors, and you could visit him at least once a week. But I must advise you against quack, unscrupulous doctors who promise you complete health and only prolong your case. They exact heavy fees, and all your good work thus far will be lost. In so basically a psychiatrist. Not to marry until you're definitely cured. I know it sounds hard. But we're dealing with a ruthless foe. I understand, Doctor. And I'll do everything you say. That's fine. Now write home that you'll be detained just a little longer. But the last time I was detained, it was at the Crossbar Motel. But I thought this was about syphilis. Mr. Hampton, I don't believe people should be ignorant of sex. On the contrary, I believe that the horrible facts concerning the ravages of social diseases were frightening, rather than encourage promiscuous relations. Then, on the other hand, if we teach them the beauty of a healthful, normal marriage, the spiritual satisfaction, of rearing children, we shall have accomplished our aim. In other words, I want people to have and sex but not enjoy it. Men and women will soon find themselves fit for the glorious state of God given matrimony. I believe you are right, Mr. Lorenz. The prudish eroding of the facts of life are fast undermining our national health. The latest official statistics prove that one out of every ten are afflicted with a social disease. What is this social disease, and are the socialists to blame for it? education and drastic treatment, humanity is bound to return to the dark ages of despair. Do you feel equal to the trip? Oh, Doctor, I'm, I'm so grateful. And Oh, so happy. There now, remember, we're not out of it all yet. Now, Millicent, you're leaving for a new life, new thought, new ideal. Fight hard. Follow my instructions, and let me hear from you if you need help. I and whatever you, you do, don't, you don't get it wet. Train, do you? Well, goodbye, Doctor. And thank you for everything you've done. Goodbye, Millicent. Well, off to bill her insurance with a goodbye. Night train to Mundofina. Stop thinking in the gutter, you pervs. It's just a locomotive thrusting in and out. Does your train have a burning sensation? Never seen someone so excited that the train is pulling into town. Gosh, 
Doesn't she look pretty, Ma? Oh, That God. she's glad to be home. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, my face. Oh, mother, be careful. I have a bad cold. And syphilis. Oh! But you remember how Daddy always had the cold? I mixed him up. Why, we'll set you around in no time. Oh, oh dear. Well, Millie, really, haven't you got a hug for your Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and there's someone waiting for you. Oh, oh. At home. Oh. Well, oh. <laughs> Come on, we let the curry now. And I want to. I've got them all fixed up for you. And see what I've got. Look here. A chocolate cake from the kind that you've done. That reads, congratulations on the syphilis. Turned into a hoe. I guess you can soon do well, though. <laughs> oh, gosh, Ma. I was just thinking. She doesn't seem to be in any hurry to marry him. Well, you know how it is. She's our little girl. And she'll decide what's right when her heart tells her. She thought she's so glad to be back to us after her long visit to New York. Yeah, I guess you're right, Mother. They usually are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I wonder if he bills her for the letter. I'm going to the post office, Mother. I'll be right back. All right, darling. She never forgets her New York friends, does she? No. They must be people. Mm -hmm. I'd like to meet some of them nice people. Well, Maybe if you throw a kegger, they'll come down. Oh, we have such a long time before. What a wait. Oh, darling, if you knew just how I long for you each day. And how much I jerk off. It's in ages. I never thought I'd be able to bear it with you away from me. Now it's just here and... Oh, you make me so happy. I do have waited for you. Why, I should have stayed here with you. But you're here now. With me. And with those who love you. Never, never desert you, no matter what happens. Even if I have a social disease? No matter what happens. all that God gave me to enjoy. Oh, I see it all, dear. God did give it to enjoy. Help. I just think we're in love. See everything beautiful. Maybe it was intended that way. Oh, but Mother intends everyone to be happy, no matter what the... That's Come why I farted. All it did was keep us apart. Now, together, and all we have is a future to come. Oh, dearie, I want to be so happy with you. I want to share all your troubles and all your joy. I want to have this cause with you. Please, just take me. Please. Please. And I'm holding him off almost by force to delay the wedding. Well, I see no reason for the delay, if you follow my advice. Yes, Doctor. I've been treating you for seven months, haven't I? <laughs> and your 
chart here indicates steady improvement. It also says the carpet doesn't match the drapes. Well, but the best doesn't come cheaply. And that leads up to what I have in mind. A multiple serum treatment. Absolutely new in medical science. Expensive, but uh, the advantages are great. In short, this treatment will make it possible for you to marry within 30 days. Oh, Doctor, you mean I'll be entirely... Sure, yes. Not an aspect of the disease will be left. You'll even be sick for me. Is he coming on to her? You're quite sure that within 30 days I'll be able to marry? The day of days you've been waiting for. Marriage, children. And the cost is $100. And it's worth 10 times that. What am I going to do with this nickel? Now pronounce you man and wife. Man, time is just flying by. It's Christopher Walken. Uh, see where they're getting after those quacks. Well, that's not good. And my wife won't put out. I guess that's it. Right. Something must be wrong. It looks so blue. Maybe you should stop using the ice packs. You better call Dr. Bird. I don't think he's going to be serious. But you better look at him. It's that small, no wonder my wife says she can't feel it when I put it in. Hey, Buck. Yeah. Will you read this thing for me? I, I can't see those numbers. Sure, Wen. Uh, you read 253,000. Thanks, sir. All right. What's the matter, Wendell? Uh, don't you feel good? I feel rotten, Mr. Schwartz. Now, something must be wrong with my eyes. I can't see. Uh, well, that's nothing. Just the heat. <laughs> that's nothing. You see, the weather is hot. But my business ain't so hot. Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh, I made it funny. Take off. Take off for the day and you'll be all right. That's all right. Go home. Goodbye. Well, gee, thanks, Mr. Schwartz. And I'll be in just that much earlier on Monday. That's all right. Take a good rest. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go all ahead. Right. Hello. Dr. Baird there, please? Oh, oh doctor. Will you please come right over? Something's happened to baby. They didn't name the kid? What the hell? You, Let's call him Ruler. Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Hope. Is Wendell there, please? Wendell? No, no, he, he's gone. He left a little while ago. Said he was going straight home. Wasn't feeling so well again, you know. His eyes. Oh, oh, thank you, Buck. You're welcome. Bye. 
Stupid bitch. Folks, you have a very sick child. My advice is to get a specialist. What is it, Dr. Baird? Tell me. He has, a, has a social disease. Folks, <laughs> pulse is high and he's feverish. Frankly, Mrs. Hamilton, he's desperately ill. Oh, Doctor, you can't mean... My advice is a pediatrician. This baby needs one. And I want both of you to come to my office at 2 this afternoon. Well, there you are. There, that's fine. Well, you're the third doctor I've been to already, and I'm getting pretty discouraged. Well, it takes time, it takes time, my boy. Besides, you haven't been to the right one. Now, your case is my specialty. Yes, that's what the last doctor told me. It's cost me an awful lot already. Well, you're just paying the price of your folly, my boy. Now, uh, this little treatment I'm suggesting will be expensive, but you'll be cured. I've heard well, that before. I'll manage it somehow. Here's seventy-five dollars on account. I'll pay you the rest in a few days. Why, well, that's fine. Now, uh, tomorrow morning. Uh... Walt Disney presents Syphilis the movie. Doctor Hampton, there is no doubt. But what your work in helping this campaign for education will in time, it will in time bring these intolerable, horrible ravages of social diseases such as syphilis and gonorrhea absolutely under control. It hasn't your, yet. Your generous donation the only thing that makes it possible to carry on our scientific research. There still remains a mountain of work for you and your co-workers to help us carry on. Well, good night. Good night, Doctor. It's been good to see you. Yes. We meet again at, at the conference tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night, Doctor. Son, he just missed Dr. Hampton. Yes, but I didn't miss the conversation. I was reading the script. The door was slightly ajar, and well, I couldn't help it over here. Good. Then you know the important work we're doing. Well, I know I've made a mess out of my life. Why? What do you mean? I mean that if I'd only been taught the awful truth about social disease. Years ago, well, well, I wouldn't be talking to you now. I, I don't understand. Father, I, I hate to tell you this, but I've become a victim. I've contracted syphilis. Ah, oh, great, the little what? shit's got to clap. What? Yes, yes, it's the truth, Father. And I'm pretty, pretty ashamed of it, but... I don't know. I had to see you, to talk to you. I, I, God, I've got to get some advice about this. How did this happen? How do you think? I got it from playing spades. Oh, well, we were on a party. Why didn't you come to me sooner? Well, I, I didn't want you to know about it. I, well, I don't know. I went to quacks and clinics and tried to take care of myself. And all they did was take my money and... And they did nothing. My boy, we've got a fight ahead of us. And knowing is and half I'm the battle. Happy that you had the courage to come to me. And I must ask you, Wendell, are you entirely well? Well, as a matter of fact, Doctor, my eyes have been bothering me lately, but I'm, I'm all right. You don't mean that, that... For God's sake, you don't mean that I'm responsible for my baby, that... That's usually how it happens. Children. Your youngster has all the earmarks 
of the cases recorded in this medical book. Mm -hmm. And while I hate to tell you, you must know the truth. The truth, Doctor? The truth. Your baby is syphilitic, and one or both of you are the cause. What in God's name are you talking about? What is what I do? You are... Not uh, an aspect of the disease will be left. I'm the one who Bitch, what you talking about? Mm. Oh, I should have worn a condom. Oh, but the doctor said that I was cured. Oh, I believed him. I believed him. <laughs> I'm a murderer. That's what I am. I've murdered my baby. And now I'm murdering my husband. Oh, please. Get him, Dr. Harris, of New York Neurological Hospital. Oh, please. It's Fargan War! Who knows where death may be striking at this very moment from this dreaded disease? Only the light of truth meets the dangers of syphilis. And with scientific treatment, these horrors can be brought under control and countless innocent victims saved. We must continue but you guilty the ones are screwed. Of education and forget our prudish attitude towards sex. Enlighten your children. Teach them the facts of life. And why Blair was such a bitch. And trust them to avoid the dangerous pitfalls of these ravaging social diseases. I want to give you a concrete example of what I mean. Tom Lorenz, the son of our crusader, in our great work. Ladies and gentlemen, first, I want to thank my father that his fight against the follies of youth have saved me from a life of misery. Granted, I wake it three times a day, but he's kept me from having any more I social diseases. I my own experiences with this blight upon mankind. Our crowd of boys were out for a good time, and we went to a burlesque show. Oh, we thought we were regular cut-ups, all right. From the show, we went to a house party with drinks and girls and, well, all that goes with it. That was the start of months of misery. For I forgot to wrap it. doctors and sleepless nights. Until finally, I came to my father for help. He had a competent physician treat me, and soon my health and spirits returned. And that's why I'm here tonight. Unashamed, spread the gospel for the benefit of the countless boys and girls who, like myself, indulged in supposedly innocent fun. For whom the bells tell. about you. I hear you walking up and down. Oh, come to me, darling. Oh, we both need to see. I'll prepare something for you. So instead of penicillin, she opts for murder suicide. Oh, it's been too much for her. What must you think of me? Your happiness is all that counts, darling. But all the pain, all the tragedy I've caused you. What must you think of me? More than ever, I think of you as my wife. 
My darling, I need you so now. Uh, that's how y'all ended up in this situation to start with. <laughs> Just a moment, please. New York calling. Here's your party. Hello? Lily? I couldn't keep the news to myself any longer. Guess what? I met him, I love him, tonight he proposed. Oh, but you... Yes, I know, but I'm going to be all right. I've been to a real doctor. You had the right idea about those treatments. I laughed at you then, but I know better now. You mean, you are? Oh, that's, that's fine. The doctor has been treating me for over a year now. Now only a year longer. But it's worth waiting for. I know it. I can have a baby. Oh, I, I know you'll be very happy. Gee, I've got everything in the world to live for now. And just think, Millie. At one time, I thought of committing suicide. Oh. <laughs> it's not like I was planning murder-suicide. Oh, it's dear, and she's going to be married. <laughs> oh, darling, if she can be happy, we can too. <laughs> what did the finish have to do with this film? Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.